let's just say perhaps, <coughs> perhaps, going into game two, um, you know, uh, you're looking at a guy like Tristan Thompson. Can he perhaps be, number one, the X factor for them? And do you really see this Cavs team making a finals? Like, do you see, I mean, do you, I legit, like I said, I, I think LeBron will never make another finals team. And I think even now that I'm kind of putting it in perspective, I'm thinking, oh, you need to bring Tristan Thompson in and he'll change the dynamic of the game. Tristan Thompson is, has been terrible this year. I mean, He's yeah, been but, terrible this year. Yeah, but He's been see, terrible this year. And, and, and fun fact they out, they actually out rebounded uh, the Pacers by two rebounds. Yeah, rebounding wasn't the issue. I mean, the issue would if anything would be scoring inside. They can rebound. They just don't really have any interior presences. Like Trisha Tom, uh, Trisha Thompson would at least give you somewhat of a presence. I don't necessarily know if he's the answer because again, I really like the way Larry Nance played in this one. But um, Indiana does go with two bigs a lot. So maybe if you want to run lineups of uh, Trisha and Nance. Or maybe you want to run a lineup of Kevin and uh, Tristan or, you know, mm-hmm. mix it up like that. Maybe that's a good thing to do. But I don't think that's the issue. Tristan isn't the issue. Make some damn shots. Make some shots. If they're going to shoot like this from three all, C- all um, series, well, we're going home. Uh-huh. Cleveland not be nobody, but I don't think that they're going to shoot this bad from, from um, distance all year. And also, I don't think that Indiana will play this good all series long. I just think that... Indiana came out from the jump and put their foot down, went on a run. Cleveland tried to make a run late, but mm-hmm. they just had a couple mistakes, and it got away from them a little bit. But, yeah. But, all right. Okay. So, but in terms of Double T, you know, do you think that he needs to be starting now um, instead of no. uh, Jeff Green? No? No. If anybody Still was starting, no? I would rather have Larry Nance start. Really? Yeah. Because did you see the way he was switching on the um defenders? Yes. I mean, we're not, we're not defenders, but yes. um Victor and yeah. um and um Darren. I mean, you need yeah. somebody who can somewhat stay in front of them. I think Larry Nance has better foot speed than what Tristan does, and he's more athletic. Yeah, he's and, a lot more athletic, and he's also a ball handler. Like you've seen Larry Nance get a rebound and at least somewhat dribble it up court before he passes it off to somebody. Yeah, I mean, and he had ten points. Uh, he had yeah, ten he points on good. five or seven shooting. Uh, you know, Seti. He was hustling. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He Jetty, was hustling. Get on the floor. Jetty zero points. Tristan Thompson he played zero two minutes. points. Uh, uh, Calderon zero points. Corver. Corver zero points. Something has to be done about Corver though, because if Corver can't play, that hurts a lot. Because Corver wasn't defending a thing when he was in a thing. Yeah, I there mean, was a reason why he only played four minutes before he got sat back down. He wasn't defending a thing when he was in. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's what you get from Kyle. And Corver. he was over too. I mean, I really hope playoff Corver is not about to come back. Oh yeah, you play off. You already know what's happening. Play off. You already know what's happening. Play off. Corver. Yeah. Is he like a twenty nine percent career three point shooter in the playoffs? Let me see. I'm sorry. I'm about to look that up. Um, Kyle Corver, according to Basketball Reference, Kyle Corver's career playoff shooting percentage is uh, from the three point line. It is thirty eight. Per- it, it, I'm sorry. It's thirty eight point six percent. So no. What are you talking about? Come on. Come on, man. He shot like 29 his oh, first year. with the come Bulls. On, no, yeah, no, no, on, no, 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 no. With the Bulls. That's why Bulls fans hate, oh, hate him. Come on, man. Because of the year he shot yeah, 29. Stop letting Scott and them influence, <laughs> influence your opinion on Kyle Corbin. <laughs> Kyle Corbin, they're just shooting 40% from, yeah, the, from, okay, the, from okay, the three-point okay, line. Okay, come okay, on, man. Get out of okay, here. Okay, never mind. But anyway. Well, I mean, he does have some years. He got a 35-year, 30-year. Then he got another 35-year. He got some incredible ones. Cleveland thirty nine a year before Atlanta forty four so yeah it just this depends man on the took playoff. eight threes a game in twenty in twenty fifteen with the Hawks that's crazy and he was only making two point eight <laughs> <laughs> you know how much that hurt that team yeah. you know how much that hurt that Kyle team Kyle Corbin taking eight threes and you he know how much making, that hurt that team bro you supposed to be the shooter bro you know how much that hurt <laughs> but um. Is there is there a chance Bron can make? I mean, of course. Like I maybe give him like a thirty five percent chance. Like I'll give him a thirty five percent chance of what? Make the finals. Yeah. I don't think he will. Bron will never make another final. But again. I mean, part, I told you my pick is LeBron Toronto, and and game. I'm not wavering off my um Toronto pick. Um, stand on the bandwagon, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm stand on it. I'm not okay. wavering okay. off okay. my we'll pick. We'll talk about them a little bit later. But uh, I, yeah, I mean, thirty five percent chance. I mean, I think it's feasible. Like for one, Bron is still LeBron, mm-hmm. and what did I say? I said. Yo, no, they don't have three stars, but they have enough random guys that could bench up to one guy. JR and Larry Nance were that random 
pairing of they players. They only score 80 points. It does, bro, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. If Bron goes out there and gives you your 25 to 30 a night, right, I would assume Kevin Love not going to score nine points every night. If Kevin Love scores nine points every night, that changes everything about everything that I'm saying. But if he go out there and he give you – uh, 18 to 22 a night, and then you have Nance and Jr. do what do what they do what they did tonight, and everybody else just does their job. You have enough. Like Nance came in and played great D. Jr. Smith at least had energy on the wing yeah, on defense, yeah, and did. Jr. came in, yeah. hit shots, and took people yeah. off the dribble. So that could match up, and that could be your third guy. They have enough random guys of random combinations of people that that could happen every once in a while. So I'm not like yes, they still have three guys. So I'm not completely dead on the opinion that they could possibly make the finals. But my pick would, if I was in Vegas right now mm -hmm. and I was betting, I would bet my money on the Toronto Raptors. Yeah. Well, like I told you, LeBron will never make another finals. I'm sticking by that. Um, make sure you go and you check out my article right now on hoopsandbrews.com. It should be up by the time you hear this. Um, the title of it is End Up in Era, saying goodbye to LeBron.